interesting. You know, it's, it's hard to say whether Psyche or Schroeder is the better player. I'm not going to be a contestant because I will get shit on if I say one way or the other. But I think a lot of it has to do that they've played each other so much. So it, it, is, it is hard to judge who the better yeah. overall player is based on their head-to-head -head experience. And it's unwise to do so. Anyways, once again, once again, this has become the new general winner's finals with Woofen playing Fox and Strode playing whoever the hell he wants. Oh, oh, oh no, the 20,000 IQ play from Stroder. That was ridiculous. <laughs> you're fine. All right, here comes the frame chap. I like it. Oh. Uh, he lost his double jump, and he did not want to side ah. me, so he died. Yeah, so this, this matchup is abysmal for Shulk, but if Fox gets off stage, it's kind of over. Yeah. Because forward air is such a good edge guarding tool. And then there's a the disrespect. Uh, Woofen, Woofen has such a, like, you feel like it's so close to being a top level fox. Like, he's so good in so many ways. And then there's, like, one or two, like, things that he'll do that will lose him sets. You know? Yeah. And he's hard on himself about it. But I really believe he has the potential to be a really, really good player. Because he already is, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. That was unfortunate. Uh, was that SD guy on that up here? I'm not sure. Good Maybe confirm. An intentional SDI, who knows? Anyways, good confirm from Wolfen. Wonderful Nair to yeah, Upsmash. And the funny thing is, normally uh, low tier secondary versus uh, PR level players dedicated main would be a really hard time, but Stroder can just switch after one game. He doesn't get downloaded. Yeah. Again, it's, it's game knowledge. And to be fair, Stroder yeah. has a lot more time than most of us to play this game. Because okay. the man is still in school. <laughs> yeah. Not that, but this is his job. He beats people at Smash Brothers and makes money. <laughs> and he brags yeah. about it to his friends. Oh! That was, that was not the greatest side B. The thing, the biggest thing for Wolfen is that he's used to. It, it's, po it's quite possible he's used to lower level players not punishing them as hard for certain options. Mm -hmm. So it becomes habitual. And this is everybody. Like everybody, you know, this is also why some regions really want to get out more because they kind of have this echo chamber in their own little region. Yeah. Hawaii is a really good example of this. Where it's so hard for them to get like, you know, astronomically better in a short period of time because they only have each other. They don't have a top and player. And they don't have Void anymore. Yeah, if Void went back, they would get so much better. <laughs> Especially if Void went to regular events. Part of the reason AZ got so good is because Psyche showed up and forced everyone to get better. So then everybody else got better. Okay, so we're gonna see some yeah. Fox Battlefield stuff perhaps? Yeah. Right, right there is where it's killing him the most. Like, you know, Stroder is obviously capitalizing properly, but you know, Wolfen's uh, getting destroyed off stage right now, and that's where he's losing a lot of his stocks. Uh, and the other thing is that Stroder's just kind of putting out moves and hitboxes to kind of cover offensive options that Fox would have. Yeah. So. And defensive options. Well, if Wolfen had pl pl generally played more defensive and forced Shulk to come in with his laggy, laggy yeah. moves, then I bet you he would do a lot better. You know, force Shulk to play a game he doesn't want to play, which is approach with very slow options. Like Shulk's try, try to space snare really well, do some shenanigans with jump art. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of options that Shulk has that isn't fast. Like his backer comes out frame 18. Who thought that was a good idea? Well, it's. I think if if they maybe angled the back air so that you could like land with it and actually use the full range of the move, that would be cool. Oh no, he fell for it. He fell for the ultimate strat. So there's this thing called iframes where if you counter and land, you're invincible throughout the entire end lag. Yeah. So there's no punish window. And Stroder killed him for it. We're seeing Stroder not only winning, but pulling out the crazy tech and disrespect. And that disrespect? Style. I, well, it's style, yeah, but it's effective too. Yeah. Like he baited a punish that wasn't possible and uh, got the kill for it. Uh -huh. Like, that's the big thing, is a lot of players kind of get stuck in this rut of, oh, okay. He went for an up air because he thought he might DIN and he'd go higher up, but an up smash probably would have confirmed. All right, I like that. And that's the thing, is like, Shorter's holding shield a lot because Fox really can't kill off of a, a grab. You can get stage control, but that's about it. So I think we're at a percent where a lot of kill options open up in Fox that he didn't have before. Well, right now Maybe. he's... Oh, go ahead. When he's out of shield, his biggest punish window at this point will be up tilt Ooh. or up smash <laughs> if he does something dumb. Shulk explode. Yeah. And Wolfen really isn't trailing. He's just like the it, the uh, neutral to neutral interactions are slightly going against him. Yeah. 
Oh, D.I.N. Plus, as we saw with the iframes, he's not exactly familiar with everything Shock can do from the scenes of it. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah. so slick. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's possible. Like, you just get kind of witch timed when you get hit by a... Uh, Oh, I get it. Okay. I mean, I've just never personally seen it, so I wasn't sure what the property for that was. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that would have worked if he timed that better. You're living. It's Battlefield. Maybe they should do something like that with Witch Time. Just put an uncharged up smash right. attached to it. Okay. I'm liking these options from Stroder. He's abusing the fact that Wolfen is not picking the safest options on Shield and using Uppy out of Shield to uh, punish him for it. Ah, uh, this might be bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way Stroder is going to drop that. Once he knows he can get a spike. Oh, there, there was spike. nothing Fox to do there. I yeah. mean, his options was to side B and either double jump to ledge, but because he mm. double jumped and then went low, Stroder had all the time in the world to just put out this giant sword under his feet mm -hmm. and kill him. Like when you're that low, up he is 100% reactable. Mm -hmm. I, th I think I think Stroder is... Very little. Yeah. makes up he can do. I actually appreciate when Stroder does this because he's teaching players that it's not so much about the character. It's, you know, we as a region still need to get better yeah. at the game. Because if Stroder can do this with characters he doesn't play all that often, then, you know, obviously we need to step it up. It's just understanding how to play the game. Yeah. No, it's, it's game awareness, as I said. And you don't need that much character-specific experience. Mm -hmm. Especially in a two-stop format. Okay, I like that, though. Uh, Wolfram got him caught in the vortex. He did slightly overextend, but he didn't really get punished for it. Yeah. Good. That was a good reaction. He uh, covered the in-place tech by just landing in that position and then dash attack when he saw the rolling. Yeah. Right now, Wolfram with a really strong lead. Yeah. Okay. I oh! No, I... Okay. That was the best decision uh, Wolfram could have made. Double jumping out. Ugh! Yeah. That was a true 50 50. But before, double jumping out was the best option. Oh, again. Again, the iframes. He didn't get hard punished for it. But Isn't that like frame perfect stuff? So you have to use uh, certain it, techniques to. It's make a frame the perfect landing here. Yeah. I'm not aware of the specifics of it, but it is a frame perfect landing. Yeah, so. there's, there's some interactions you can do with like uh, aerials and short hops off platforms so that you can guarantee the best timing. Yeah, exactly. Because this game is very generous about its buffer options. Young seven frames. Yeah. I think so we'll finish. Like, just get some math that allows you to determine that you come out of mm -hmm. uh, your lag at the right time. You just mash down B, you get the right frame of yeah. invincibility. This game has gone every other way. Wolfen has taken it with a confirm into up smash and has had about 40 to 50% to start. So it's never like he's been doing terribly. It's just yeah. he has to play catch up and then, you know, he kind of gets caught by a setup he's unfamiliar with or wasn't prepared for. And he's yeah. got. I know that's a good option, but. It's you gotta go to ledge sometimes, you know. I know it's scary to be on the ledge against Stroder, <laughs> but when when Wolfen wins the neutral, he's still being Wolfen and getting his up airs and sometimes air dodge for you. No, he is. That was just really not good. Winning neutral enough. Yeah. All right, Stroder going shield. Obviously playing smart here. At this point, he's putting it on Wolfen, saying, "Can you last longer before my shield runs out, or are you gonna make a mistake and let me kill you for it?" All right. I like this too. Wolfen's like, I don't care if it's less damage, it's still damage. And when you're finally out of shield, let's go, Wolfen. Finally beat the Shulk. Very, very good uh, juggling there. Shulk does not have any good landing options. He has Neutral like. Neutral air is pretty good if you space it. In terms of speed, the fact that he could put out a hitbox and knows that Shulk's yeah. frame data does not allow him to put the hitbox out first makes it very problematic. Did he? Okay. Con. No, he plays Diddy. Yeah, I see, I, I see this occasionally, not too often, though. FD pick, too. Uh, Diddy will obviously exploit the crap out of Fox in the ledge. And offstage. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's right. totally going to be ready for any side hands for the ledge. Yeah. Did he just right. slip on his own banana? He I, did, indeed. I guess Fox got it somehow. All right, let's go. One of Wolfen's best qualities that he recently got good at... Oh, no! Okay, I had no idea who was going to die there. Yeah, Firefox, uh, Fox Privilege. I don't care if this is Melee or Smash 4. That was definitely Fox Privilege. Good DI out. Just DI out. Don't even air dodge or anything. If a Diddy down throws you at 50%, DI out, recover. Yeah. Don't give him the 50-50 setup. I'm so glad that Diddy's down throw wasn't what it used to be. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. All right. Uh, Wolfram with a really good stock lead. Yeah. And because of his gravity, not fall speed, gravity, he'll actually live up smash for a decently long time. 
Okay, okay, 141. That's pretty reasonable. So, small lead for Wolfen, but it is even and it is FD, so... This is going to go both ways. Good. He saved his double jump, and he's living. And I like the fact that Wolfen did not try to go for a footstool there. It's better to be safe than overextend and potentially yeah. lose a game for it. Especially when you've got a bit of a percent lead. This could work. Okay, that would have worked if hit or if um, Strutter was able to put himself in a better position. I mean, here's the thing: is that while Diddy can ledge trap consistently, the you know the amount of reward he gets is not exactly big. While Fox's punish reward is incredible, so Strutter just can't drop this, and he'll do just fine. But if he drops it, he might eat a lot of damage for it. All right, good, good, safe pressure. Goes for the jab. Realizes he can't get anything more. Just down tilts. All right, that was a worth trade for Wolfman. Are you dead? Yeah. No, you're not. Pretty close. Oh! 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 Okay, okay. This is... Oh, whoa. Okay. okay. <laughs> the hitbox threw know. Diddy up, because when he up smashes, his hitbox goes up, so that's why Fox didn't get the grab there. So cool. Okay. Good games. Yeah. Stroder taking it? 3-1? Um, <laughs> Stroder's like, oh, my up tilt didn't hit? <laughs> I'll just try again. <laughs> I feel like we didn't see a lot of up tilts before, like, 2017. 